What's going on, his squad? It's your main man, Hitman, and I am back once again with the daily spawn updates for Red Dead Redemption 2 Online. This is for the family heirlooms, all auxiliary, the coins, the arrowheads, the flowers, the antique alcohol bottles, all tarot cards, the bird eggs, and the fossils. Today is Thursday, July 13th, and as a hold on, 15th. Sorry about that. Today is Thursday, July 15th. And as I say each and every video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button if you find this video any bit informative or helpful in any type of way. And if you're watching, just browsing, just checking out the channel, just checking out the cycles, just checking out me in general, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos each and every day. If you want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than a, than this than this video, and I do say any bit because I don't post it all the way, always at as soon as she changes <laughs> at two o'clock. But sometimes I forget about it completely, do brain farts and forget about it until like nine or ten, and then I'll post it. But this is health. Um. If you guys want to know Madame Nazar's location any bit earlier than this video, make sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And there I will be posting any news for any other games that I do play or that I, I enjoy playing, like uh, Red Dead and GTA and stuff like that. So uh, I will be posting any other stuff like that. Madame Nazar's location when she does change. Uh, any information with the updates uh, and stuff like that <laughs> but how to spell the social media accounts for the channel is down in the bottom left hand corner of your screen that's hitman miyagi yt it's also down below the video in the hashtag hitman miyagi yt and it's down in the description box below uh, a couple things that I did want to tell you guys before we get into the video. There were bugs and stuff with the DLC as always. Where like things weren't working or there were glitches for like the Moonshine Shack like that. Um, the Moonshine Shack, that was just a visual bug. You still get paid the whole uh, 200 and something that you... The, the, that you make for the delivery or whatever if you make it full you still get paid the full amount um and the fast travel i mean the fast travel inside the wilderness camp if you guys already had that you just have to go to go in your satchel and look at the i'll do it while i'm in the video you have to go into your satchel and look at your pamphlet, like your skill pages. If you see, uh, it's a wilderness. You have to make sure you read all these pamphlets. Click on it like this. You'll pull it out. Make sure it's red. Wilderness Travel, make sure you, you pull it out, read it, and it'll be active again if you already had it. And even if you just bought it, make sure you do that just so you guys can get it, you know, active if you did buy it. I do not know how much it costs because I have it on both of the accounts that I play on. I have to go on other accounts to see how much it costs, but I think it's like 200 and something. I don't know. But... Let's get into what we are all here for. Sorry for talking your ears off. But I just wanted to let you guys know that little information. But the the wilderness travel pamphlet is in the fence. They they put a couple things down in the fence for you guys. Uh, I think like extra ammo for like all the guns and stuff like that. Like all kinds of pamphlets for that. So make sure you buy all the pamphlets. Why not? If you got the money, which you should. We've been doing these cycles for a while. 
buy all the pamphlets and stuff because I mean you need the your your most. You need everything that you can get to play the game. <laughs> but um, let's get to these things around the map first. Let's do Madame Nazar's location. Which, if you've been looking at the map today, she is right along the Dakota River, uh, outside of Valentine. She's right here at this location and she will be here until 2 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know or not of America. How I personally get to her when she's in this spot along the Dakota River is I simply fast travel to the post office in Valentine. When I get to Valentine, I take the train tracks on down to I see this feature series here and I make a right. On the map here, it's a left, but in real, in actual game life, it's a right. So I take this right down here, and I try to follow this little path down here until I get to, you know, the ocean. I've been doing this for a while, so I kind of know <laughs> the way, but she's right here, and she will be, as I said. She will be here until 2 a.m., that's Eastern Standard Time, New York Time Zone, East Coast Time Zone, for those of you who don't know or not of America. Um, the next thing is the Caribbean Rum Antique Alcohol Bottle, which is right underneath the word Window Rock. There's a, a cabin right here. Go inside the cabin right as soon as you walk through the door. There's a table to your left, and that's where your Caribbean Rum Antique Alcohol Bottle is. Also, about right here, pull out your metal detector. There's a couple rocks like right behind the house. Um, and you guys will get a random lost jury. I cannot tell you what lost jury you will get, but that's what it is. That's what you will dig up. Uh, let's go down here to where we normally do. There's a bunch of stuff up here, by the way. I didn't want to say anything because I don't want you guys traveling all the way up there. There's a couple things up here at YPT. So if you do fast travel to YPT and then run down to this location here, there's a, there's a couple things. I think there's two things up here, like a, a arrowhead, a arrowhead and a family heirloom. And then here, there's a couple things. There's a lost jewelry, a card, and a uh, a coin, I think. <laughs> but anyway, let's go down here to where we normally do business, which is the Lemoyne area of the map. I'm trying to zoom in as much as I can for you guys. The cycles for today, Thursday, July 15th, are... Family Heirloom Cycle 2, All of Azure Cycle 5, Coin Cycle 3, Arrowhead Cycle 6, Wildflower Cycle 3, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 3, All Terror Card Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 3, and Fossil Cycle 1. Remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there for you guys. A link to a video, the cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils, and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel. Uh, let's start with this marker here right here at this location you guys will get a random fossil come over here with your metal detector right here at this location at that exact location and you guys will hit on a random uh lost not a lost jury, it's a random fossil right here at this location of our next marker right below the end of nwa right here inside this house or shack you guys will get an antique alcohol bottle. This antique alcohol bottle is a Irish whiskey bottle. It's inside the house on the table. Right here to our left a little bit more. This first one under the U in Bayou. This uh, marker is a bird egg. This bird egg is a heron egg, H-E-R-O-N. It's in the tree, shoot it down with a varmint rifle or a bow using a small game arrow. And this marker that's next to the U and by you is another fossil. It's randomized as well. Come over here with your metal detector or pull out your metal detector. You can pull it out when you get to this one. 
after you get this bird egg, just pull it out and it's like a couple steps to the right, maybe. <laughs> but that is a random fossil as well. There's a Let's get to this next marker right here at this location before we go inside the cemetery. But right here at this location, you guys will get a Seven of Swords tarot card. This tarot card is on the table next to a small broken cart. And let's go into the cemetery right here at this location. You guys will get a Rue Pearl ne Necklace. That's a R-O-U Pearl Necklace. Is in the uh, fellow's grave building right here at this location. If you guys can see that, is right where that marker is. You go up into the little mausoleum or whatever you want to call it, the grave building, and it's right there on the little shelf or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what it's called, honestly. Right here at this location of this next marker, which is right uh, kind of around the corner from the saloon. You guys see that saloon over there to the left right here at this location of this marker right here you guys will get a, a bella ruby bangle bracelet which is a lost jury this lost jury is right in a corner cabinet along the side of the road right here you open up the cabinet door or the yeah you open up the cabinet door and you position yourself in front of it once again and you should get a prompt to grab the Bella Ruby Bangle bracelet out of the cabinet. Uh, the next item is inside the saloon that I just showed you guys. You enter it right where my marker is. Go up, go inside, go up the stairs and into the only room that you can enter. And right in front of the bed, there is a washstand, a washstand or a wash table. And right on that washstand or wash table, you guys will find a cherry wood comb, which is a family heirloom. Um, over here, right here by the Essence Saint, right at this location, on the back porch of this mansion, you guys will get another family heirloom. This family heirloom is a ebony hairbrush. This ebony hairbrush is on a couch right here at this location. Let's go down to our next marker, which is the cardinal flower that spawns over here each and every day. Over here in this area, it helps me personally indicate exactly what cycle the flowers are on. And today is cycle three. Inside this building right here, this structure, right there at that location, pull out your metal detector and you guys will hit on a random lost jury. I cannot tell you which one you will get but come exactly to this location inside that building and that's what you will get a random lost jury put your marker or your waypoint exactly where mine is and go to it and pull out your metal detector as simple as that uh this next marker inside the o of meadows i think that's meadows yeah meadow <laughs> right here there's a little square I removed them. See that little square there? There, That is a, I guess, an outline of a ruined house, a burned down house. Go right in the, in the middle of this brick structure and pull out your metal detector once again and you guys will get a random coin. This coin is randomized. I cannot tell you what it is, but do exactly that and that's what you will get. If you guys want to come all the way over here by the Braithwaite Manor or in the Braithwaite Manor estate, there's a little shack right here at this location. And you guys will get a rosewood hairbrush. I have a couple more things for you inside of Rose, which before we get to that, right here outside of this uh, Anthony Foreman's house, there's a outhouse type structure. I mean, it may be broken down or something like that, but right here at this location, come out, come right here at this location, you guys will get a random lost jury, pull out your metal detector right in front of that outhouse, and that's what you will dig up, a random lost jury. There's a couple tear cards inside of roads, which one is inside this gazebo right here. Right here on the table, you guys will get a Four of Wands tear card. And 
right on top of the bank, right here at this location, you guys will get a Four of Cups tarot card. Um, the next couple things are up a little bit right here by the Southfield Flats home. There's a another tarot card. This tarot card is inside the house. There's a little, there's a shelf system or whatever you want to call it right here in the corner of this house. It's green and as soon as you enter the house to the door, look to your left and you should see the shelf in the corner. Right on that little shelf system, you guys will get a nine of cups tarot card. You should feel it as soon as you walk towards the door or walk by the house. There's a Creek Plum flower right about here. If you guys want to grab that, remember to look for the bush and not a flower, like a single stalk, a single stem. It's a bush. And inside this house right here at our last marker that I have for you guys is a tortoise shell comb. This tortoise shell comb is in the house on the dresser with a mirror. So remember to get all that. Uh, that's pretty much it for all the extras. The cycles for today, once again, are Family Heirloom Cycle 2, All Auxiliary Cycle 5, Coin Cycle 3, Arrowhead Cycle 6, Wildflower Cycle 3, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 3, All Tarot Card Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 3, and Fossils Cycle 1. Once again, Family Heirloom Cycle 2, All Auxiliary Cycle 5, Coin Cycle 3, Arrowhead Cycle 6, Wildflower Cycle 3, Antique Alcohol Bottle Cycle 3, All Tarot Card Cycle 6, Bird Egg Cycle 3, and Fossils Cycle 1. Just in case I mess up any type of way, remember to check the description box below because everything will be down there for you guys. The cycles, a link to a video for the current cycle of fossils and how to spell the Twitter and Instagram for the channel. Thank you guys for watching, looking, listening. This, uh, this video kind of went smoothly for me, I feel like. But thank you guys for watching, looking, listening, uh, liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing, and all that good stuff because I do appreciate it and I try to say it each and every video. And if you haven't, if you don't, remember, like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you guys can get each and every video that I put out because I put out videos each and every day. I'm trying, I'm working on like an intro to my videos, which it may like delay the video uploading by a couple seconds, well, a couple minutes, like adding it to the videos and stuff, but I feel like it's worth it. I feel like that's what I need in my videos, some kind of intro and then get to it because it's just like the video and i just come out all ghetto like yeah what's going on <laughs> but i'm working on getting that i'm looking for the exact right everything but we will get to that keep a lookout for it um but it's your main man hitman once again and i'm out